प्रार्थना मंत्र आबडी प्लीज शुक्लांबरधर शुक्लांबरधर विष्णु शशिवर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वधन ध्यानोपात सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं समबडी एस सरस्वती नम सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामरूपिणी विद्यारंभं करिष्यामि सिद्धिर्भवतु मे सदा येनाक्षर समामनायम ललिता भास्कर जी ओ सहना सह नौ भुन सह वीजंकरवाहैतेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुमाविदिशावहैओम स्क्रीन नौ सो यू कैन सी दि महेश्वर सूत्राणी सो दिस इज नॉट द Uh, textual uh, extract so chris ji you want to do the swara portions the first four you start yeah. from the left bottom yeah one second i think i've got the wrong thing on my screen sorry okay i'm start i'm oh i i un relerka a i un ये ओम आई ए ओम आई ओम आई आई आउच राइट सो द वन थिंग दैट वी शुड रिमेंबर इज नॉर्मली अ ई वुड बिकम अ ए राइट सो हियर वी आर नॉट डूइंग द संधि बिकॉज़ दे आर ऑल इंडिविजुअल साउंड्स सो यू कैन डोंट फील कंपेल्ड टू से इट ऑल एज कंटीन्यूअस फ्लो दैट कैन बी space between the songs a uh, e un mm. okay can i try it again sure a e un r r k a o n i o u c very good and the next uh, two another person i can say mm mm-hmm. mhm hayavarat lan mm. hayavarat so try to say them all as individual sounds not as hayavarat one word hayavarat that way uh, you yeah. will know what sounds are going into each um, sutram oh. hayavarat lan okay all right the next uh, three I can try. Okay. Nya na 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 m cha ba ing ga da da sh. Keep the flow and the im. It's not im, right? You are including an e sound before the last consonant. So nya ma na 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 m. I I can just say it together, but uh, because you wanted separate, I tried. no no so so uh, let there not be too much space in between and at the same time let them not flow like as though they are an integral word okay nyamanganam jabang gadadash okay so the jabai and gadadash are mahapranas jabai gadadash okay then then only one sutram the next one somebody can i go ahead 
Yes. Jabagadash. Mm -hmm. Then please do, uh, actually do only the next one, another person. Ha, ha, cha, tha, tha, chat, chat. Oh, is the not, is the screen not seen? Cha, ta, ta. I will redo it. Yeah, sorry, I, I could not see the whole thing. Kha, pha, cha, tha, tha, cha, ta, tau. And the next two. I can try. Ka, pa, ya, sha, sha, sa. Ka, pa, right? Not ya. Ka, pa, i. Ka, pa, i. Sha, sa, sir. Sha, sha, sir. Shankarasha, Shanmukhasha, Saraswati, sir. Sha, sha, sir. Okay. And the last one? Hal. Hal. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> it will be a good thing. The reason I broke it off in that sequence is because you will see that it contains the pratyahara. And uh, let me uh, now share the um, consonant sandhi document. Let me just hold, share the whole screen. And, and what um, I have done for my um, easy access is I've just put some uh, comments so I'm able to easily go up and down. So I'm now going to go to the uh, pratyaharaha that we've been using. So when you look at this and say uh, jhal is any consonant except nasals and semivowels, when you go over this, it is good to use this, but you are memorizing. When you are looking at the definition like this, you are memorizing without understanding what is jhal. To you now, jhal is just a uh, sound and that sound represents any consonant except nasals and semivowels. But instead of doing that, if you are able to look at the um, Maheshwara Sutrani and say, what was that? Uh, jhal. So you uh, start from j, and then you come all the way up to l. And then you will realize that jhal includes every consonant other than nyamanganam, that is the fifth column, right? It excludes the fifth column and it excludes ha, ya, va, ra, la. So it ex excludes the uh, semi vowels and the ha, well, the ha consonant is included. It just excludes the um, semi uh, vowels. So that way, when you look at the uh, Maheshwara Sutrani, I had it in the written form, but uh, I don't think I uploaded it on my um, on this uh, account. So so if you make a habit of using that to explain to you what it is that you are looking at, but at the same time, look at the Maheshwara Sutrani to uh, go over them individually, then what they are will stand out in your head more uh, meaningfully rather than just a memorized uh, entity. So if we look at the next one, which is Jish. Jash. So here it says class three letters of each group of consonants. Fine. Now let's go look in the Maheshwara Sutrani. It is Jash. So here, Jabagadash. So when I asked you all to say it in um, logical units, the first four are the Swaraha, right? A uh, to uh, ach, that is the swaraha. Then hayavarat and lun 
are the uh, semi vowels and the hakaraha and then nyamanganam uh, is the uh, nasals five nasals and then jabai and gadadash are the hard consonants um, mahaprana so i think i asked for these three to be set together but uh, i could have even said nyamanganam jabai gadadash and jaba gadadash all of that together would have made the soft consonants so like this go back and forth between this document where it explains what each pratyaharaha is but go back to the maheshwara sutrani to realize to have them enumerated in the flow of the maheshwara sutrani and i will assure you that the uh, you will see the logic behind why the various uh, uh, sandhis happen sadhu okay so vidya ji i have a question yes uh, can you go back to the maheshwara sutrani so here right like that jabagada dash that starts with the first uh, uh, alphabet is from the ch varga but the second one where we have kh ph that starts with the k varga so is there a reason like it is not in yeah k this is the reason that even this is what i think uh, bhaskar ji had also asked earlier and you can uh, whatever i knew i have kind of uh, told you and you can wait to discover why that particular pattern may be there in the uh, uh, flow so i am not sure i um doing that analysis without going through the uh, sandhi uh, sandhi rules kind of explain demonstrate to us uh, what the various um, groupings are and the pratyaharas are used in um, the panini rules which demonstrate to us why those things are there so as we uh, encounter the sutras those for which i am able to tell um, why that grouping happens i will tell you and others we will have to put it in the back burner for discovering whenever later okay thank you mm. okay so um, my assignment for today is to Uh, go over the remaining sandhis so we have done uh, i'll just go through my bookmarks because i think that will tell us what we have done so we went over the pratyaharas and then you did this uh, sandhi which um, is where the uh, resultant is the jash uh, where you have the uh, alpa prana hard consonants the sorry alpa prana soft consonants and then we went over the next um, set of rules uh, next sandhi where we ended up with the hard consonant the ka cha ta ta pa then we looked at the um sandhi where because of the hakarah it became a um, mahaprana it became the fourth uh, column of the um, classed uh, consonants and then we saw we had gone over when ch k transformation happens and then we looked at when uh, between the dental and the palatals when the dental and palatal pairing happens the dental um differs to the palatal the transformation happens as the dental becomes the palatal and then we looked at the next one where 
uh, it was dental and cerebral, the dental falls to the cerebral. Okay, and I think you have done. I'm not sure if uh, this was mentioned um, between the, uh, the dental, where the dental falls either to the palatal or the dental falls to the cerebral, it is uh, interchangeable. Normally, we look at what is on the left and what is on the right, and that sequence matters. But in the case of the, these two, the sequence doesn't matter. Whether it is the, the dental on the left and palatal on the right, or the palatal on the left and the dental on the right, the resultant will be uh, palatal. And the similarly for the next one, where whether it is um, dental and cerebral or cerebral and dental, the resultant will be uh, cerebral. Okay. So the next, you had done this one too. This is uh, the other um, part of the uh, Jash. And you did the Torli. And you have done the Monusvaraha. You've done this also. Okay. And this one. Anuswarasya yai para savarnaha. We did yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Shankaraha. And then. Um, Nascha padantasya jali. Have you done this one? Yes. Uh, no. Okay. Hmm? Did, did, did Yashansi yesterday. Okay. Yashansi. Vasansi Jirnani. I remember Swamini Ji quoting the Bhagavad Gita shloka at that time. All right. Then augments and doubling. Have you done that? No, no. we have not. This is where we stopped. Okay. So we will start from that uh, for today. So Nash Chavya Prashan. So normally I can't just use a single. This is where I. Um, um, Swaminiji has a flow and I don't have that uh, flow yet. I need a whole paraphernalia of supporting stuff for me to be able to uh, go over the material. So here we have the uh, sutra reference, but we will look at the um, definition and see what is uh, happening. Puman Charati. So we will go with the example. And from the example, when we go back and read the text definition, we will be able to understand. So Puman Charati, sometimes normally it is only the Makaraha that becomes an Anuswaraha on top. But sometimes under circumstances, the Nakaraha will also become an Anuswaraha. So that is this uh, sutram, that is this rule. So Puman Charati, after the Nakaraha, when you are having the um, hard, so cha, cha, ta, 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 ta. One thing to remember, so these are categories to remember, soft con hard consonants and soft consonants. Um, then the ka and the pa, they belong in a different class because they don't have a tongue reach, right? Ka is at the uh, throat and pa is at the lips. So these two have a different rule many times than the cha, ta, and the ta. Because the cha, ta, and the ta, the, the tongue touches either the gums behind the teeth the roof of the mouth or the teeth themselves. But for the ka and the pa, the tongue does not touch. So it has a different rule. So here you see that the tongue touching only are included and not the ka and the pa. Okay, so you can just make a note of it. And then you can try to process 
y and so on okay so when you have the n followed by and here we are only looking at the hard consonants the karkasha vyanjanam which is the first two columns so that restricts it to only six um consonants to deal with so puman charati this puman charati that uh, because it is followed by the cha uh, so okay so the puman charati the n is becoming an anuswaraha and a shakaraha again another thing to remember is that the cha and the cha are uh, palatals and the sha shankara sha is a palatal then ta and the th are cerebral and the sha is cerebral then the ta and the th is dental and the sa is dental because of this you will see the pairing sadhu so puman charati the nakarah becomes an anuswarah and a shakarah raman tatha becomes uh, because it is the takarah you have a sa so it becomes an anuswarah and a sakarah then gurun um okay instead of cha if we had uh, ta ah uh, here puman tikate so here you have the n n and the uh, ta and because of that it becomes an anuswarah and a shakarah so when you uh, when you it is systematic so when you are able to look at it that way you can after with some practice you can be pulled out of your bed and ask the question and you will be able to uh, provide the um, logical answer uh okay. bidyachi can i ask a question ma see i was pardon me if i have not asking a very uh, basic question i was in there for the very past classes but you have pumam anuswara and uh, you also or it is pumam chandra bindu right what is the difference between those two i have not come to that oh okay i see all right thank you okay so uh the uh so all i have done is say that the nakara chakara combination becomes an anuswarah shakarah so now that we have got that you can now uh, say puman charati becomes pumansh charati now if pumansh charati then you may have to go back to your uh, the we must have done a uh, sandhi earlier in which the um anuswarah is the chandra bindu so chandra bindu is an um, anunasikah it is an uh, anunasikah that you have seen in the um, uh, torli right sanlapah um, and a few other uh, examples i only pretend to know how to pronounce that uh, uh, chandra bindu and it is seen it is an optional uh, consequence to so the pumansh charati it is an optional consequence to the um, the pumansh charati is an op optional consequence to pumansh charati i don't know um, how to distinguish between uh, other than using terminology i don't know to distinguish this is just an um anuswarah but here it is also an uh, anunasikah so that is the only de uh, definition i am able to tell i do not um you can hold off on that question for uh, with uh, when we discuss with swamini ji next week so the chandra bindu it uh it is more prevalent in hindi and in sanskritam it comes up in very uh, select uh, places one of the um important places that you can think of that is get that gets used frequently 
is pullingam. So pullingam is actually pum lingam. So that pum lingam should either be written as, let me uh, annotate the, just for uh, clarity. So that pullingam should be either, okay, annotate. All right. So it probably comes from the previous uh, uh, sutram. So you have pum and lingam. And so when they come together, we either have to write it as pullingam or it has to become uh, pullingam. So the so it, it should never become by sandhi, it will not become pulling, pullingam. Mm -hmm. This should not be there. So it should either be pullingam or pullingam. And even here, I'm not sure if the double uh, lakarha will come, but um, that is one of the places where the um, Chandra Bindu will come. Vidya ji, will it yes. become uh, from the bottom, the second one you have written, right? Like pulling and gum. Can it yeah. become pulling? And instead of the ng, we put a uh, anuswara on top? No. no. Okay. <laughs> By an earlier sandhi that you have learned, because mm -hmm. there is a vargiya vyanjanam right after that anuswaraha, it, that vargi, because of the vargiya vyanjanam, that anuswaraha will become a ngakaraha. Okay. So lingam has to be like this. The parasavarna. Vidyaji, <clears throat> what about the word Om? Om also has the Chandra. Ah, but om is a Pranava mantra. I'm not even getting near Om. <laughs> <laughs> no, meaning it is a separate. Um, it's a. It's a separate, I don't, I don't know to uh, break out the OM uh, into its component sounds. So, yes, it does have, it does, that symbol has something that looks like a Chandra Bindu, but I don't know if it is a Chandra Bindu. I don't know. Okay. But when okay. we say Omkara, we say ing, right? That would be something like this. Uh, Ka when we use the M becomes N. Yes, yes. So Om Kara, I first thought that Om will never be part of any Sandhi rule because Om is not um, like an ordinary sound. But then uh, I was wrong. Om uh, is included in the Sandhi rules and it also participates in uh, Sandhi. But um, I have not delved into that um, very, I have not looked at it very uh, closely. But yes, Onkarha, you can say instead of, um, if you are not writing it as, um, so Onkarha is a single word. And so there you are making the Anuswaraha become uh, Nakarha. Thank you. Okay. So let us take it as me only giving you an introduction to it and then pending, you know, refinement for later. All right. I have to remove the annotation, right? Clear. Okay, then. So here, you, this you will, uh, if you do Bhagavad Gita, you will encounter all the Sandhi rules. So every day you can also in, pick one uh, shloka of Bhagavad Gita and see what Sandhi you are encountering there. Now that you have done already the Visarga Sandhihi and the Swara Sandhihi, and now you're doing the Vyanjana Sandhihi, you can try to see which one is uh, in, being encountered where. 
Mm. Okay, so, so you have uh, the different examples and one second, I'm losing my, what is happening? Why do I have the, oh, I should remove the annotate. Okay. Mm. So the, we can go over each of the, uh, so somebody, can you please read the um, rule? I'll read. Okay. When the when the n at the end of the word at the end of a word is followed by ch ch ta 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 ta, the first of the first two consonants of the palatal cerebral or dental class, which in turn are followed by any vowel or nasal, then the n changes into anusvara and is preceded by the by a, the augment of a corresponding corresponding sibilant as follows: ch ch sh ta ta sh ta ta s. So uh, in English, rather when it is written as a n with a hull underneath, in your mind, you please think of it as a nakaraha. That way you don't mistake it to be the na sound because na means you are ending with an a. Uh. So, but when you say nakaraha, I mean, this is when we do different languages, we have to deal with these. But in your mind, you please know that it is the n with a hull and not the n that ends in an a uh sound. Okay, so it is the, if you say nakaraha, then you know it is only the n. Okay, each example, could you um, all do one by one, please? First one. Uh, pum, uh, puman plus charati is equal to pumam plus plus charati that becomes pumams charati or pumans charati. Okay, so couple of comments. The try not to use the plus sign because the plus breaks the logical flow of. It, the, the habit is there to say plus, but try not to say plus because you're breaking the logical uh, flow from one um, word to another. So Puman Charati, and you will be able to see what is happening in your mouth. When you put plus, you are not processing anything. And then Pumam, when you have the Anuswaraha, uh, Try as much as possible to not bring the lips together. So pumanj. If you say pumam, then you are still working with the makaraha. So the anusvaraha does not have the two lips coming together. And if you do the plus, you need to have closed your mouth with the uh, lips together. So pumanj charati. And you will be able to see that it is transforming from the n, pumanch. So pumanch, you're moving from, n is a dental sound. So you're moving from dental to palatal, pumanch charati. And this helps you to, instead of doing the transition from uh, dental to the uh, palatal, you are doing the nas nasal, and the palatal, nasal, um, yes. So pumanch charati, puman charati, pumanch charati. As I said, there's the Chandra Bindu, which I can only, you know, uh, in my mind, I try to pronounce the Chandra Bindu, but I really uh, do not know the uh, specifics of it. It is an Anunasi kaha. Okay. Um, the Thank next you. One. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next one, please. Oh. Raman 
that also will have the uh, Chandra Bindu. I think that it has been missed out. Um, the T kate is a long, it's a dirgha. So Puman uh, T kate. Puman T kate. Puman T kate. And you can just say the same thing, but in your mind, you can think of it as an anus, uh, as a Chandra Bindu. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, could you do the whole thing again? I interrupted you, please. Puman tikate, puman tikate, or puman tikate. <laughs> very good. All right. So we have more. This is a very simple. Um, once you understand the pairing, right? Till you. Um, once you understand the reason for the pairing of cha cha to sha, the ta ta to sha, and the ta ta to sa, it becomes simpler. So, Vidya, I have a silly doubt uh, in that uh, word part of it. Can you go a little up? Yeah, where it says like which in turn are followed by a vowel or nasal. What? Where is that part? Uh, when the n at the end of the word is followed by the first two consonants, which in turn is ah, uh, so now this charity, so mm -hmm. this uh, ch we are only talking here, even though it says ch ch, you should only take it as chakarha chakarha, meaning ch with a hal ch with a hal t with a hal t with a hal t with a hal and a th with a hal, but what follows after that? So if you say okay. <clears throat> charati, then which in turn is followed by a swaraha or a nasal, which means it would be a conjunct consonant. So mm -hmm. if you had mm -hmm. some word like china, um, uh, tna, uh, so when you have a combination, we don't see a combination here. All we are seeing is that it is um, uh, it is a consonant followed by a swaraha. We are yeah, only okay. seeing the uh, cha, gu. We are only seeing those uh, t. We are only looking at um, the swaraha followed. We are only looking at the gunita aksharam. We have not looked at a samyukta aksharam. So as you have shlokaha, <clears throat> if you were to look at um, the word being, um, so we have to dig. Uh, you have to find a word which contains chna, uh, tna, uh, tna. Uh, so we have to look for a word which starts with that kind of a syllable. Then you will see uh, the change. So. Um, we don't have a uh, we don't have an example for that uh, anywhere in this uh, list. 
Yeah, thank you, Bidhi. Mm. Okay, so we can do this portion for homework as part of the uh, review. We can look at the next. Uh, uh, is this the same thing? Vidya ji, <clears throat> when, uh, uh, when the part for the homework, which you said, uh, mm. for example, the first one, sun plus cha. So we mm. take the cha as cha plus a. Then... Uh, yeah, the room yes, is... in the sandhi, yeah. in these words, it is the cha as a word. Okay. Chakaraha vitanakaraha. Okay. okay. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Uh, Vidya ji, I have a doubt here. Yeah. Uh, in the same on the same page, mm. uh, there is a, a um, um charity. Mm. There is a, the the sha and the cha are written separately. The half sha and the cha se separately. But uh, here uh, there is they both are they can be combined together in the uh, pragna vadam cha. What is the difference there? That uh, pragna oh. You, it, you can write either way. In this case, okay. it is just a font difference. Okay, we can write both ways. Yes, yes. The font there in the earlier case is writing the sh and the cha. Mm -hmm. If you remove the vertical line of a sh, then it becomes a sh. Oh. So okay. it can be either written either like that or like this. Like this. Okay, thank you. So we will uh, move to the, I think the next one is also a repeat. So I, I can skip that. I'm very happy to say that we went over two pages so far. All right. So now the, this is the next one where this is where we have the um, dvitvam. So adeshaha is what we've been so, uh, seeing so far. Adeshaha is a substitution that we've been seeing happening uh, up until now. But in the case of um, what we did today earlier, a new letter is coming up. What is happening? In the place of one anuswaraha, we are getting two sounds coming in. Right? If you take the anuswaraha to be a makaraha, in place, <clears throat> in, uh, in place of that n, you are getting an anuswaraha and a shakaraha. So it's an agamaha. It is an incoming um, addition to the sounds. So now we are going to look at another so another uh, sandhi where an agamaha happens. So here it is. I'm going to scroll. Sorry about running up back and forth. Namo hraswa dachi namun nityam namut nityam so we are not breaking down the components of the um, sandhi so we need to know what is ngam ngam is our pratyaharaha so we will look here and then we'll go look at the uh, pratyahara list so ngam you leave the ng and the ma so you have the ng so ngam is ng n n only these three sounds are now involved in this sandhi. So we will see how it is defined verbally. I will go to my bookmark pratyaharaha. So do we have that? Okay. That uh, is not in this list of pratyahara, but you can tell it is the uh, so let's go back and see what is being excluded. The nya and the ma are excluded. There is really no uh, logic. Earlier I said the ka and the pa vargaha are separate. In this case, it's not the ka and the pa that are uh, excluded. It is the cha and the pa that are excluded. So the nya and the ma are excluded. We have the nga, the na, and the na here. So, back to our, uh, okay, so we are at the next one. 
so here it is an agamah um, meaning that it is going to take a um, dvitvam double it's going to get doubled so what do we see here pashyan api it becomes pashyan api there is a double of the uh, kurvan api uh, kurvan iha karmani uh, i think kurvan iha karmani is probably ishavasya upanishad second uh, shloka ha huh? but um, again in bhagavad gita there will be plenty of places where you see these um, swar uh, sandhis so what do we have when mm, only when you have danga dana dana the na is the one that you will uh, encounter frequently because it is going to uh, be very rare to find a word that ends in an na or in a na we have to go out of the way to look for them but in very easily we will find because in the um, pullinga dvitiya vibhakti bahuvachanam right ramam ramau raman so ending in n is plenty uh, shatra pratyaya we have oh i am not sure if we have seen we have not seen shatra pratyaya that's present continuous so there are many places where you will see the nakara ending uh, words so swa uh, mm, pachat will become uh, pachan or bhagavat becomes bhagavan so bhagavan ends in an n so there are many uh, words where you will have it ending in na so that is the one that we have to be focusing on and then yes it will also be applicable to the na and the na so pashyanapi this is taken as nakara right nakara nakara correct yeah. so the uh, dvitvam of the nakara so kurvan api becomes kurvan api so the only what is the pronunciational difference when you do the sandhi pashyanapi versus pashyanapi right pashyanapi you are sitting there on the na for an extra bit and that causes the nakara her to be twice if you didn't sit on it it will become pashyanapi let me do the next one because there is no samyukta aksharam there gayan aste so it would be without the dvitvam it will be gayana aste but it is not gayana aste it is gayana aste sadhu so that is when you realize that there is the uh, dvitvam dual uh, rep repetition so can somebody please read the i'm sorry for run, losing space losing my spot here um, can somebody please read the niyama uh, the rule uh, when na uh, na na occurring at the end of a word are preceded by a short vowel and followed by any vowel then there is a doubling of the particular nasal so here what does it say the um this na that we are seeing at the end if it were to be i'm just using a word it need not raman okay so raman will not apply in this case why because uh the it says that the na should be preceded by a short vowel but in this case when i say raman it is a long a uh, so that will not uh apply so it has to be the short uh, swaraha okay so so the dvitiya vibhakti bahuvachanam will is ruled out raman harin 
so all of them bhagavan is also ruled out so only the shatru pratyaya we are seeing now kurvan gachan gayan okay bhagavan is the sambo, uh, sambodhanam vocative case for bhagavan so he bhagavan so bhagavan iti will work mm. so pashyan atmani so the following can be any swaraha that is what it says by any swaraha then the doubling happens good so does the iti become a long e or the a short e, e? The, that doesn't change only the na becomes doubled in this case pashyan atmani pashyan atmani tishtan ikshate tishtan ikshate that the e there is already in dirgha yeah here bhagavan iti so bhagavan iti bhagavan iti so the e will not become elongated only the na is going to get bhagavan iti only the na will become elongated only the na will become doubled okay so i think that this also can be part of the uh, homework and then the next one okay there is just that one more so if we finish that one more then you'll have the entire list for homework so what is here oh i don't think that there was just two more i think yaronu nasike nu nasikova when any consonant except the ha is followed by a nasal at the end of a word the consonant is optionally changed into a nasal substitute vak nayati aha okay vang nayati so here um any consonant is followed by a nasal at the end of a word so we are looking at the word uh, end of a word and the okay so any any consonant ending word when it is followed by uh, um another word which is when it is followed by a uh, nasal which is the um nga ma nga na nam when it is followed by the uh, nasal then this vak becomes vang so the there is an exception when except the ha so if you have um if you have instead of vak if you have vah then it is excluding that so uh, any um consonant okay so vak nayati becomes by the other rule it became vag nayati jashtvam or in this case it is becoming vang nayati which is the nasal so the corresponding uh, the ka becomes its corresponding uh, nasal which is na if it is uh, cha then it will become the nya corresponding nasal which is the nya and um so anushtup nayati either the pa the pa becomes either the ba by the other by the jashtvam or it is becoming anushtum nayati it is either becoming a ba or a ma so it just becomes the nasal on its own path so mat nathah the ta becomes the nasal of its own um uh yes so mat mat nathah man nathah 
and i think the shat mukah has already been addressed as shan mukah right by the previous uh, rule are we cool with this new niyam with this new rule uh, yes, uh, but not not become madnatah madnatah um because in the case of yeah it should have become madnatah or mannatah i think and when the nasal is a m like in the example number 1 how do we do that video ji we go example, to the exercises and uh, not like, example exercises if you scroll oh, to go to the next page like what happened the following uh, ah, yes walk me wang me wang so the ka becomes ng or n the it becomes a ng which is the fifth in its yeah. in okay. the curse uh, row fifth wang okay. me okay thank you mm. so namut nityam in the sutra itself we are seeing that rule in play namun nityam namun nityam one second let me get to that sutra here so here no in the previous sutram right which was namunnityam ah see here it was namutt nityam and for uh, by different rules like um by different rule the so the gamutt nityam became namun nityam but then by a different rule the nityam also became nityam namun nityam but we don't know this as uh, we didn't break it down but it has been broken down to us as part of our homework thank you here namut nityam for us it is only going to become namun nityam so um we've completed the going over the um uh, rules it is only an overview um you we will need a lot of exercise we'll need a lot of practice to have them um internalized and i can see that many of you have uh done a good job i'm watching you responding to swamini ji's questions and so on and i can see that many of you have internalized it much better than what um i have uh, it took me a very long time to navigate the uh, vyanjana sandhi because i can't memorize i needed to have the logic uh, laid out uh, to me so any uh questions that i can answer okay what do so, you want us to do for homework for homework i would say you please finish the uh, the exercises that are given as part of the three sandhis that we did today whatever are the uh, because we didn't go over them in class correct so please do the exercises in uh, all those three uh, sandhis and then the final list that swamini ji has given at the end of that document okay so that is pages uh... so it would be pages i'll go back to sharing the screen 15 6 pages um from augments right yes no even from before that so you will do page 19 page 19 18 17 16 15 yeah i think 14 you had already done 
So starting from uh, 15. So 15 to 19. Vidya ji, do we send it to you or uh, Somani ji? Yeah, you can or send it to me. Okay. I have a couple of your uh, homeworks uh, with me that I have to uh, return. So you can send it to me. All right. And Thank if you, you can uh, practice the Maheshwara Sutrani, that would be great. All right. So if no more questions, um, could somebody do the Shanti Mantram, please? Vidya ji, I had one, sorry. Sure. Uh, one more question. Yeah. Like uh, when they say uh, year, any mm. year, any consonant except her. But the last one. What uh, is year? Is that a year says any consonant? Yeah. Okay. Pratyahara. Except there is her. anything other than ha. So, uh, yeah. So here, let yeah. me share the screen. So in the Hayavara, we start. We start yeah. from year, I think. Yeah, you start from the year. So you leave out the ha. You start from the year and go all the way. Maybe you thought that it, you will hit the her in the, you know, the second her, you may think yeah. that you could have hit it, but you are not hitting the second her either. So it is all the consonants <laughs> except the her. So it might be for this rule okay. that that kind of a setup was made. So it would be yer. Uh, okay, thank so you. So all consonants other than her. Very nice observation. Which was part of that last uh, Sandhi that we saw, the rule. Okay, Shanti Mantram, please. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma kashti dukha pak pavet asatoma sadgamaya tamasoma jyotir gamaya mrityorma mritam gamaya om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Harihi Om Thank you, Bittaji and Harindarji. Thank you very much. Yes, thank and you, thank you, Harindarji, for... Thank you, Harindarji. Thank you, Bittaji, and thank you, Harindarji. Mm. Namaste. 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 Namaste.